Hey everyone, today we're going to take a look at the question of if you should defragment your Synology NAS. So I want to give the disclaimer that this is going to be more of an educational video and if you're interested in doing this I really recommend that you watch this fully through because by the time you get to the end of it you might have changed your mind and it might be something that you don't actually want to implement. So fragmentation occurs when files are created, deleted, moved, basically anytime you do anything on any type of hard drive. Um, the files on that hard drive could become fragmented. And in years past, defragmenting a hard drive was actually very important in order to improve its performance. Now, modern file systems generally limit that fragmentation as it is. Basically, the way that they're designed, it limits it by trying to allocate different sectors to a hard drive at different times, uh, basically in a delayed fashion. I don't want to get too technical in this. The idea is just that if you have implemented, say, BTRFS on your Synology NAS, by default, the fragmentation will be less than it would be on a traditional hard drive from, say, the past. So when you're asking yourself the question of if you should defragment your Synology NAS, the answer is actually somewhat complicated. At best, you're going to be able to increase read and write performance on your NAS. Now at worst, you're going to fill your entire NAS's hard drive with unusable space due to snapshots that already exist on your NAS. So before we move any further, the absolute massive disclaimer here is if you do decide to defragment your NAS, you have to make sure that you delete all of your snapshots before you do. If you don't, you run the risk of filling up your NAS with basically a bunch of unusable space. And there are tons of examples online of people who went and defragmented their NAS and basically filled it up and they're trying to figure out why it is 100% capacity when it wasn't before. Which leads us back to our first point, which is if the only benefit is increasing performance and you're not currently running into a performance issue, there is basically no reason why you should defragment your NAS. Now, if you search online, you're gonna be able to find specific scenarios where people were able to reclaim some space on their NAS because basically they kind of tallied up all the space on their NAS. They saw that they should be using say five terabytes um, and it was consuming say six terabytes. So they knew that a terabyte or two terabytes of data was there and it was allocated somewhere that it wasn't supposed to be. So I would say that that is probably a 1% type of scenario that might happen. The majority of people watching this video, if you defragment your NAS, you're most likely not going to get any additional space. It might be a few gigabytes, but it's not going to be anything in the terabytes like you might read online. So with the disclaimer that you probably shouldn't do this, and the majority of people probably shouldn't do this, we're going to take a look at how you can do it. Because there are certain individuals out there that will run into performance issues and a defragment is really the only way of fixing it. Now I'd suggest if you're running into performance issues that you might want to look into other things that could be causing the issue before you jump to defragmentation. Uh, but if you have checked everything else out and you really are convinced that this could be the issue, I would suggest that first off, you have to make sure that you take a backup of your entire NAS. If you don't want to take a backup of your entire NAS, take a backup of all of your super important data that you want to make sure you don't lose. You should always be doing this, but I want to call it out in specific for this video because if you do run into any major issues, at least you'll have those backups. The next thing that you have to do is you have to make sure that you delete all of your snapshots inside of the snapshot replication tool. And you also have to keep in mind that there are certain Synology applications like CloudStation or Synology Drive that also use snapshots as well. They're basically versions. So they might not say snapshot in specific, but they are versions. And those versions are basically snapshots in system terms. So you have to make sure that you go through and basically delete all your versions, all of your snapshots. Now I'm not guaranteeing that you're gonna run into problems if you don't do this, but there is a slight chance that you do. And it's well worth it to take the time up front and make sure you do it right. So with another disclaimer that you probably shouldn't be doing this, we're gonna take a look at how you can do it because there are certain individuals that will see a performance benefit from it. So I don't wanna write it off and say that no one should do it, but I am gonna write it off and say that probably 99.5% of people should not do this. So you're gonna to have to open up the storage manager and then you're gonna to have to select volume and then on whatever volume you'd like to defragment, you're gonna to have to hit action and then you're gonna to have to select file system defragmentation. Now at this point, it's going to let you know that if you shut down your system, you're gonna to have to start over from scratch 
and that you might lose space if your volume contains snapshots. So like I said, we have to go back and delete all of your snapshots from the snapshot replication tool and basically any other Synology services that are potentially using any snapshots. As soon as you've done that, you can select yes. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna change from the status of healthy to the status of performing file system defragmentation. Now, depending on the size of your volume, this is gonna take either a really long time or it's gonna be quick. This is just a quick virtual machine, so this is gonna be very fast, but you're gonna to have to give it some time and it will eventually turn back to the status of healthy. So once that's done, the volume will officially be defragmented. And at that point, at best, you have increased performance. And at worst, you might have lost a bunch of space. Um, and if you did, what you're gonna have to do is go back, delete all of those snapshots that you have, and you're gonna have to defragment again. That should go through and clear all of that up. So for the third time, you probably shouldn't do this, but if you do wanna know how to do it, this is how you can. Hopefully this video helped you out. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I will do my best to get back to you. If this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks guys.